Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about waterproof shell layers. With me here is Eric from our material development team. Great to have you here. Thank you. We treat waterproof shell layers pretty much as a reinforcement piece at Fjellraven, right? Yes. So to protect you from rain, wind, snow when you need it, otherwise you pretty much don't use it. So what is actually the main purpose of a waterproof shell layer then? Uh, the purpose is of course to keep you dry and yeah. protected from the wind. The tricky thing is that since you are creating moisture by sweating and moving like really physical activities, the trick is to let that moisture pass through the, the shell garment. And that's how we create comfort. So keeping the rain on the outside but still letting the moisture that you create uh, out. And that is what we normally refer to as breathability. Breathability, yeah. exactly. Here's the Echo Shell Jacket. Yeah, Keb Echo Shell Jacket. Yeah, if we start with the, the material itself, it's a laminate, so it's consisting of, of different uh, parts. So on the inside we have the backing, it's a really thin knitted uh, polyester. On the outside we have the, let's say, the main material or the uh, face material, which is a uh, woven polyester. And in between those two layers we have the membrane. Yeah. And in this case it's a polyester membrane and it's hydrophilic. So, so how does that work then? Yeah, hydrophilic means that it's something that likes water and it works in the way that moisture that you create condensate on the backing and from the backing it's pulled through um, through the membrane and out to the surface. And now you should ask me, why is it moving to the surface? Uh, so why is it moving to the surface? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you have heard of DWR, Durable Water Repellency. We are using a fluorocarbon-free impregnation. The function of the DWR is to actually keep the surface fabric as dry as possible, because then it's much easier for this water coming from the inside to evaporate again and, and dry up. The water itself doesn't know what way to go. It no. could go either way. So the driving force behind it is the heat from your body, and the temperature difference between inside the garment and outside the garment, but also the level of moisture in the air. So typically we have drier air on the outside compared to inside the jacket. So that's the driving force behind it and the water will move towards where it's lower humidity, which is typically on the outside of yeah. the garment. For example, more tropical scenario yeah. where you have really high temperature in the air and super humid. It could even be so it's more humid on the outside compared to inside than it could tra be transported to, towards your body. So there in those cases it's better to use an umbrella or a poncho or yeah, something. Yeah. We have a two-way zip in the front. We have two chest pockets, fairly big, and no pockets down here. And that's of course if you want to wear it with a backpack or a harness for pulling a sledge, etc. But if we talk about the functionality of the jacket, of course, sometimes when it's getting hot or you're maybe walking on skis, getting warm, you want to ventilate. So we have two ventilations at the sides. Uh, I quite often tend to use the center front opening as a ventilation, especially if it's, if it's blowing a lot, you can close the, the button to keep it safe there. And you can even close up here and ventilate down here to re get really, to, to change out this uh, bit humid air. All our EcoShell products are fully climate compensated, which is a good thing to be aware of. And uh, apart from uh, that we use non-PFC DWRs, the entire company is uh, PFC free since a number of years. This jacket also is made out of 100% polyester, which is a good thing for the future when you would want to recycle it, ultimately. Moving over to uh, our range of hydratic waterproof jackets. This is the high coast hydratic jacket. Yeah, we use hydratic in some different types of product. We can see it uh, in the lined and padded jackets and also quite thick jackets. 
But today we will focus on this two and a half layer and talk a little bit about how, how that material is uh, built up. So what we're using here is a shell fabric made out of, it's a ripstop uh, made out of uh, nylon or polyamide. On the inside we have the uh, polyurethane coating to make it waterproof but also let some uh, moisture out. And we, we have a, like a protective print on the inside to kind of protect the, the membrane itself. So it, it doesn't have this uh, knitted backer as in the three layer garment. And it's a really beautiful print on this uh, one as well. It's a fantastic like print. A nice uh, pattern. Yeah. The benefit of this construction is of course packability. It's uh, less material and you can roll it up and it becomes a really neat package. What you don't have is this backing that soaks up the moisture from no, the inside no. and help it uh, 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 spread out over a bigger surface. Okay, let's try it on and we can go sure. through some of the function in it. So functionality, we have two hand pockets and what's maybe more important is the ventilations on the, on the side. Same as with the, the three layer jacket, you still have the button down below and a two-way zipper, so you can also use the center front as, uh, as ventilation. Good hood, fully adjustable, both in the back and in the... In it's kind of pre-adjusted. Pre-adjusted, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, really adjustable, nice hood with some reflex details on it. So it's a perfect jacket for bike commuting, trekking, traveling. The lightweight and the compressible packaging makes it easy to bring along. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have two different waterproof solutions, pretty much. Two completely different jackets. Yeah. I think the purpose of them are totally different, but th both will keep you dry. This one, the three, three layer Echo Shell, of course, it's a more all year round, multiple activities. You can go skiing, trekking, hiking, whatever you want to do. While this one is a really lightweight, really compressible compact jacket to keep as a backup in your backpack when during summer activities, spring, autumn, etc. The difference when it comes to like, performance, I'd say this one is uh, more waterproof and especially more uh, breathable. So it's breathing better compared to, to this one. But uh, of course there is a difference in price of the jacket as well. Yeah, fairly big difference. Yeah. So, Depending on, on what needs you have, both could be a good option. Totally. Definitely. Thanks a lot for, for coming, Eric. Pleasure to have you. Thank you, Kalle. Yeah. If you have any comments, you leave them in the fields below and we'll attend to them. And um, you don't forget to click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we really hope to see you out on the trails really soon.